This is Empowered Magazine Investigates. I'm your host, Amelia Sutton. Let's begin. Kim Porter's tell-all book revealed her tumultuous relationship with music mogul Sean Diddy Combs. The book is titled Kim's Lost Words, A Journey for Justice, from the other side which revealed intimate details surrounding their time together. Kim Porter was a successful model and actress and a significant figure in Diddy's life. Their relationship spanned over a decade and produced three children, Christian, Jesse James, and Delilah. Kim also had a son, Quincy, from a previous relationship, who was embraced by Diddy as part of their blended family. The dynamics of their household, filled with both love and conflict, painted a complex picture of family life in the public eye. The couple faced challenges common to many relationships, but theirs were amplified by the pressures of fame and public scrutiny. After Kim's tragic passing in November 2018, rumors surfaced about her death and about a tell-all book that Kim was working on before her untimely death. Her unexpected passing, attributed to pneumonia, left many wondering about the untold stories she might have shared. The book was published posthumously in early September 2024, just days before Diddy's recent legal troubles came to light. It is reportedly based on Kim's diaries and notes that were saved on a flash drive and shared with friends before her death. The opening page of the book claims it was one of Kim's final wishes to make this memoir public. However, the authenticity of the book has been called into question, creating a cloud of uncertainty around its content. Imagine reading first-hand accounts of their struggles, triumphs, and the emotional roller coaster that defined their years together. This book could potentially offer a unique perspective on Diddy's character both as a partner and as a father. Fans are eager to learn how Kim navigated her life alongside one of the music industry's most influential figures, as well as how she balanced her own ambitions with the demands of motherhood. While specific details remain under wraps, speculation suggests that the book would cover several key themes. Allegations of abuse the memoir reportedly includes graphic accounts of physical abuse and sexual coercion that Porter allegedly experienced during her time with Diddy. These claims have fueled discussions about domestic violence within high-profile relationships and the often hidden struggles that accompany fame. Celebrity Encounters The book also purportedly discusses sexual encounters involving Diddy with other celebrities, adding another layer of intrigue to its content. This aspect may reveal not just personal betrayals, but also the complexities of relationships in a world where loyalty can be overshadowed by ambition. Motherhood. As a mother of four, including twins with Diddy, Kim likely had profound experiences to share about parenting in the spotlight. Her thoughts on co-parenting with Diddy could resonate with many readers, especially those navigating similar challenges while managing careers. The impact of fame, Kim often spoke about how fame affected their relationship. The pressures of being in the public eye constrain even the strongest bonds, leading to discussions about mental health, emotional well-being, and the sacrifices made for success. Foul play speculations. The book insinuates that foul play may have been involved in Kim's death, a claim that her children vehemently reject as they emphasize that she died from pneumonia. These speculations may stem from the tumultuous nature of their relationship and the complex dynamics within celebrity circles. The anticipation surrounding this tell-all has sparked mixed reactions from fans and critics alike. Some are eager to hear Kim's side of the story, while others question whether it's appropriate to delve into such personal matters posthumously, particularly when it concerns her children and their legacy. Diddy himself has remained relatively silent regarding the rumors of the book, but has expressed his admiration for Kim in various tributes since her passing. His response to any revelations from the book could significantly impact public perception, shaping both his legacy and that of Kim. In a joint statement released by Kim's four children Christian, Jesse, Delilah, and Quincy, they expressed their dismay at the rumors surrounding the memoir. They labeled claims about its authenticity as hurtful and false, asserting that anyone claiming to represent their mother's interests is misrepresenting themselves. They emphasized that they felt compelled to speak out after seeing so many hurtful rumors circulating about their parents, a reflection of their desire to protect Kim's memory. Moreover, Chris Todd, the individual behind the pseudonym Jamal T. Millwood, admitted he could not confirm the legitimacy of the memoir's contents, but insisted he believed them to be true based on files he received from two music industry sources. 
This ambiguity raises further questions about the motives behind publishing such sensitive material and highlights the complexities of truth in the world of celebrity gossip. Whether it serves as a cautionary tale or an inspiring narrative of love and resilience, one thing is certain, Kim's voice deserves to be heard. As the story unfolds, it may spark important conversations about accountability, legacy, and the responsibilities of those left behind to tell their loved ones' stories. Are you going to purchase the book? We want to hear your thoughts. What do you think about this video? Leave your comments below. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more updates. We will continue to monitor this developing story and provide updates as more information becomes available. Dear viewers and subscribers, you know as well as we do that the American justice system is damaged beyond repair and rotten to the core with corrupt cops, corrupt private attorneys, corrupt public defenders, corrupt prosecutors, corrupt judges, corrupt politicians who lie to get into office and lie to stay in office, and let's not forget about the countless government officials who are corrupt and serve no one but their own interests. All of these groups of officials have one thing in common, which is that they fail to serve and protect the very people they are supposed to serve and protect because the entire system is corrupt from the top that begins with the Department of Justice. That's why Anelia has dedicated herself to restoring justice by publishing daily content on social media. She is a passionate advocate for social justice and legal empowerment who began her journey into legal research as a legal abuse survivor. Anelia is doing the work to get rid of an unfair and unjust system, but she can't do it alone. She needs your support now. You can support this important work by simply hitting the follow button. Remember, the people you choose to follow on social media is who you amplify. So follow Anelia Sutton on this platform and across all social media platforms to amplify her mission for justice reform. Next, you can support Anelia by giving a contribution for her justice reform initiatives on aneliasutton.com now. Your contribution as little as $8 is critical to restore accountability, transparency, and justice for all back into the justice system. All right, let's get the engagement going here. Do all of the button things, so hit the like button, share this video, and comment hashtag Anelia Sutton. Stay tuned for more updates and I'll see you in the next video. Check the video description box for all of Anelia's social media links and more helpful links mentioned in this video. Remember, knowledge is power. Unity is power. So stand together with Anelia for justice. United we stand, united we win. Thank you for watching and thank you for all of your support. I believe that legal education and personal finance are two sides of the same coin because corrupt officials target people who don't know their rights and are struggling financially. But with the right financial tool, you can protect yourself by building your personal credit. And that's where the self card comes in. It's not just a secure credit card, but a powerful shield of protection and a symbol of empowerment. Don't let financial struggles allow corrupt officials to put a target on your back Take control of your personal finances now. Build credit, build dreams. Get the self card today on aneliasutton.com slash self. You can also find the link in the video description box. This video is sponsored by Mission Possible University, a school I founded with courses dedicated to equal access to justice and closing the wealth gap. Join more than 4,000 students and over 20,000 alumni in the pursuit of brave ideas on missionpossibleuniversity.com. Please remember to hit the like, share, subscribe, and the bell notification.